going back to your saying about appreciate what you have and if you don't appreciate what you have essentially you'll want more and i think you'll never satisfy that hole i think that the thing the way our society is designed is that it's always wanting you to want more yeah and the key about it is is, is attaching from the wanting more and actually what do i have now that i can appreciate and actually what do i actually need to function at a level where i'm good with life right but i think that's where the work is it's there isn't it because we can appreciate i've got hot water we can talk about this hot water and i'm really I am really appreciative I got on it, right? But we can all fall into that trap where, I, where we can go, well, I want more than this. Well, is this all there is? And that's the trap I did fall into. And I can testament to that because I've talked about it in the podcast. I think that's one of the things that, when I have my mental health, it's one of the things. This is it, you know. You're not appreciating all the things. And when people say to you when you're in that space, oh, appreciate you've got a family. Appreciate. And when you're in that space, you're not, you don't appreciate. So there's probably people here listening to the podcast right now that might be struggling with their mental health. And me saying things like, oh, appreciate what you have. It's all right for you to say, you're gonna think that. That's exactly what I said, because it's not, it wasn't about that. For me, it's about I had no purpose. So that's what's clinging on to all these other material things and thinking, oh, it's all, is it, well, is that it? I needed purpose. And that's what I've discovered through podcasts and the coaching. And that's why I'm ad, an advocate. That's why I'm, I eulogize about it a little bit. And this podcast, of course, I eulogize about because this, these are the important things in life and we must appreciate what we have right now. And when you think about people like Viktor Frankl, where we're in a concentration camp, virtually had nothing, found purpose. And, it, and, and those are things that inspire me to think, well, if a person in a concentration camp can find purpose, then there's hope for us all to find purpose in the lives that we have, right? Mm-hmm.